So here we have a mixture. It's a solution of salt water, and what it's got mixed in with is, is some fine grain particulate iron 2 oxide. Okay. Now you may have noticed I'm building a lot of water circuits recently. This is going to be an integral part in my water circuits, I hope. Um, it allows the water to be manipulated via magnetic fields. Now, you, uh, because the particulate condenses together so quickly, it has to maintain uh, a constant mixture in the solution, which is going to require uh, agitation of some form. But I believe that there's definitely some potential here, because it's got plenty of salt in it, and it's, uh, it's going to be able to be manipulated via magnets. Uh, whether I use it for pumping or for logical gates, I'm not too sure yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to find a use for it. So, now let's move on on how to make this stuff. So as most of you know, iron plus water in time equals rust. Uh, here we've got some standard rust, the nice orange stuff that you get. But you might notice the nails are quite black. That's because uh, as iron oxidizes, if it only takes two oxygen, it becomes ferrous oxide, which is black and ferromagnetic, which is what we're after. So, uh, how do you get that? Well, it's quite simple. You just lock it up into a, a bottle and uh, load it up with tons of salt to keep the, the, dissolved ox uh, the dissolved gas levels way down, and you'll end up with this black, misty stuff at the bottom. It's, uh, it sinks to the bottom a lot faster than regular rust, too. And that is uh, iron 2 oxide. And it'll keep very well in the salt water solution, and then it can be concentrated. Concentrating a uh, ferrous oxide solution of salt water is quite easy. You simply place a magnet on the bottom and give it a while. It'll slowly collect all the particles, and let's take a time shot. Okay, it's still going, but uh, we can stop here. This is good enough. The longer you leave it, the more you get out. And then you simply pick it up. I can't do it while holding the camera, but you pick it up holding the magnet on the bottom, and then you'd simply pour out the water. A lot of it will stay in the bottom here, too, right now. This method will actually work, but as you can see, a lot of it went back into it. But concentrating it is very, very simple. You just use magnets, and you pour the water. Now you can concentrate it by just constantly collecting the ferrous oxide and then uh, repeating the process over and over. But at a certain level you might want to store it and the salt might be needed later too, as I will in my experiments. So, what I'm going to do is instead I'm just going to boil it down. Now, I'll lose a little bit of my ferrous oxide to oxidation in the process maybe, but uh, what I'm going to end up with is a nice salt. And I'll take a few shots as this goes, it takes a long time to finish. Now this production method is meant for DIY only, and only small scale. Um, iron actually was all originally iron oxide, and we've refined it down to iron by putting a lot of energy into it. I'm now releasing some of that energy and undoing a lot of hard work. So there's cheaper and better ways to get your hands on large quantities of iron 2 oxide. This is for DIY and home experimental purposes. Um, don't run around filling oil drums full with gallons of wa salt water and nails. It's, it's not a good thing to be doing. You're really uh, damaging the environment and undoing a lot of hard work. And when it's all dried out and smashed up, you'll end up with a nice fine uh, mixture of salt and uh, uh, ferrous oxide. And it'll be mixed in nice and tight and even maybe even enclosed within some of the miniature crystals and stuff, so it should be keep very well like this. Of course, it's not magnetically reactive whatsoever. Uh, the concentration is way too low. If I increase the concentration of the, the ferrous oxide, it'll probably uh, probably react. But if we just add a little bit of water and then dissolve out all of the salt, we should, once again, be able to collect together our ferrous oxide particles. And I don't know if you can see there, but they're coming out and they're reacting. There we go, now it's starting to collect quite a few. So as you can see, it stores quite well in the salt form. I would imagine so. It keeps the uh, oxygen and water away, keeps it nice and dry, and then you can save it for another day of use, and in a nice and dense form. And since we're going to be using salt in the circuits that I plan to design, uh, this is not a waste. Uh, the salt is actually going to be used later too, so it's nice to have them together. makes a nice uh, feed for the systems.